can get back on before I completely lose you. Is that a threat? Oh, I'm not making threats. I'm going to be with a murderer. That's if I get to my life and it's so sucky. You see, the thing is, any one of us could have killed that guy, including you, little Miss Prissy Pants. So, you can drop the axe now. Any one of us? I never met the guy. Ergo, I don't have a motive. I don't go around killing people without reason. Or at all. Don't know about you guys, but it's not how I get my kicks. Do not worry. For the time being, I don't suspect you. My sights are set firmly on you. My suspicions were aroused three nights ago when I saw you in a rather shady alleyway making unscrupulous dealings. Just last night, I saw Mr. Ernest, who was unwell. Now he is dead, and you are here. I suspect you use ricin, a slow-acting poison that can kill any man without a trace, even in minute doses. Your hedonistic pleasure had not gone unnoticed by the man. I suspect you wanted that nuisance out of the way. Wow, you really are stuffy, huh? Look, I wasn't getting rice in or whatever the hell you think I was getting. I was buying acid. I was getting high, man. Look, I've got some of it. No, thanks. Wait, Joy. You. You were buying acid. Is that a confession? What were you planning to do? Melt the body? That's horrifying. Jesus Christ, did he look melted to you? Acid is a drug? LSD. Ring any bells. What? Shut up, Donna. She clearly doesn't understand. And also, fix your cuffs. Terrible fashion, the master. I'll cuff you in a minute. <laughs> wow, cool, sister. I don't think violence is a very good look right now, do you? Of course, Annie. When you see the body, you can see it is covered head to toe in cuts, meaning there was a struggle. And poison doesn't make cuts. No. Actually, do you know what I was trying to think? It was you. And you 80s chick love your pop, right? Because as I was walking in, I saw a disregarding bottle of smash. You guessed it. Coke. And the cuts here are jagged. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's so tasty to be here. You were here last night, weren't you, Donna? No way, Jose. Last night, time of the killing, I was with Lennon. We hung for like uh, two hours. Then we split, but swear down, that's all I got up to. Okay, and if you're gonna start pointing fingers, well, I have mine to expect your involvement in this. I mean, let's face it, Elle, you're the only one in the room who's out of whack and warped enough to want to try and kill someone. Oh, and need I remind you, I don't have a motive. Regretfully, I lack the naivety to believe such hogwash. Your story is complete fabrication, a stone-faced attempt to pass the book to Elle. You think she iced Anthony? I think she couldn't ice my cola. A complete fabrication? Is that what's happening? Look, I was with Donna, okay? I can vouch for her. She's cool, man. <laughs> uh, you can't see cool if it slipped itself in your drink. A. Her old jeans suck ass. B. She's a total bitch. And C. She's trying to pin this all on me. Me! Like, can you even imagine? Yo! Lay off the jeans. Take a chill pill, dude. Okay, ever since you got here, you've been busting your ass trying to implicate me. And frankly, it's more than a little tiring. Just, just look around. Signs of struggle everywhere. Cuts in the furniture. Don't suppose you know anything about that, do you? In fact, I think you've stabbed Tony to death. Maybe with the cola bottle that you found, or like the cuts in the furniture suggest, a knife. Clearly, he wasn't up for it. He put up quite the fight. But maybe 
You only abandoned the idea once his body had already given in from all that beating. It's so not rad. I, that wasn't me. Like, I would not do that. That's so totally not me. I mean, tell me, what's my motive? Uh, sorry, were motives important when you were accusing me? Plus, you just kind of hate everyone. That's motive enough. Yeah, man. You lead into this bitch. That's badass. Okay, don't think we're cool or anything. Just because we were together before the killing doesn't make you a saint. I don't know if that's really acid. Well, I thought we were meant to be friends, man. And how can you not see? It's obviously Annie. <laughs> We've all seen her case against me. It's, it's so goddamn broke that she may as well have been rehearsing it for years. I mean, it's almost as if she wants to shave the blame. Look how she's been. Always instigating the fights. Pitting us against each other. Shifting that blame a little bit off herself. And look how quiet she is. She could have had a knife. Or a bottle. Annie, didn't you say something about icing your cola? Of something so plain for the rest of us to see with our heads screwed on. Think of the cake. Head screwed on? You. <laughs> you? <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> no. The only joke I've heard all day is your little knife theory. Oh, you dumb motherfucker. And this! This is why suspects are not tasked with solving crimes. We all have self interest here. That is an immutable fact. Another immutable fact is that we have a trustworthy figure here. Detective, can you agree with me that it might be Lennon? If not murder, then drug consumption and potentially dealing. <laughs> yes, let's give it to the only other sensible person in this group of late ducks. <sighs> Officer, you'll agree with me, right? It's Donna, isn't it? Hey, gum show, can we just forget for a second about the drug stuff? Okay, it's not relevant to the murder case. What is relevant, however, is Annie's guilt, man. Please tell me you see what I see. And this whole drug spiel is just to make me look bad. Look, Tubbs, I ain't a killer. Len, he ain't either. Hell, hell, Annie ain't. And she's, she's weird, but she's not quite a killer. Elle, though, she's got it in her. I know you know. Who's the liar? Is it even one of us? Who can you trust? Who killed Anthony Ernest? Can, can you solve the game? game?